Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going over a customer order unit. This is, unit was custom ordered by a customer. We like showing you these trailers just so you can get an idea of, you know, kind of some of the stuff you can add if you're thinking about building one on your own. But it'll also give you a very good rundown of what Cimron has to offer as well. This is just a 2022 Cimron Northstar two horse bumper pull. It's got a little nice front tack on it and again a folding rear in the back that we'll go over here in a minute. We'll start off here in the front tack room. And see in this front tack room we did an oversized uh, tack door so you get a 42 inch door on this tack door which makes it real handy especially with the swing out that we have optioned on this trailer. Nice thing I like about it is if you go to that 42 inch door even with your saddle rack swung out, saddles on there, you still have room to walk by that saddle rack without having to swing it in and out every time you want to enter or exit this trailer. So the saddle rack runs on a gas piston. You push it and it'll kind of catch itself and start pulling itself back in. And then same thing, you kind of pull it and that piston will help pull it out. So that way if you get big heavy saddles on there, you're not moving them all that way by yourself. That gas piston is going to help you guys tremendously. Right here on our tack door, it is a fully carpeted tack door. You'll see here in a second that the whole inside of this tack room is fully carpeted as well. You have your one access window that does slide open to offer some ventilation, which I think is super important in a tack room just because you're going to get sweaty blankets, sweaty saddles after a long day of riding, and you don't want that humidity to build up there and build up that nasty condensation. So by giving you guys a window to open while you're traveling home after a day of show and trail riding, rodeo, and whatever it may be, it's going to give you that option to really air out this tack room, which I think is really nice. And then below that, you do have your tack door organizer. Very easily removable. It runs off all these twist knobs. So if you, for example, wanted to move this from this trailer to your tack room, if you're going to be at home for a few weeks and then back into the trailer for your, you know, headed to shows or anything like that, it's super easily removable. You just twist all your knobs, pull it right off this wall and put it wherever you need all your sprays, brushes, hoof picks, stuff like that to go. Something we really like doing, not only on this trailer, but pretty much all of our inventory units we're going to order as well. Any access door is going to have a fold down step. We like it because it, it eliminates you having to take that big step up into your tack room, especially carrying big heavy tack trunks, saddles, stuff like that. And this will also run off a gas piston as well. You can see that piston right here on this side. It's going to be the same piston that's running your fold out saddle rack. So again, that piston is going to help hold that uh, step up while you're traveling. And then again, help you pull that step down and kind of hold that in place when it is down. Inside this front tack room, again, I showed you that tack room door is fully carpeted, but the whole inside of this front tack is lined and carpeted as well. The reason we opted for that is because this customer, you'll notice she kind of put bridle hooks everywhere inside here. We have an upper set of bridle hooks on your partition wall, a lower set of bridle hooks, and then behind me over here in the corner, we have a set of bridle hooks on this offset of the nose, and then again, another set over here behind that saddle rack. So she wanted a bunch of bridle hooks, so we decided just to fully carpeted this front inside tack to eliminate those you know, bridles and bits and conchos or whatever she has hanging on these walls from scratching up the walls. It's a really clean look as well, so I think it turned out really well for this customer. Another cool thing she opted for is to take this uh, swing out blanket bar and put it over here in the corner. Reason she opted for that is because you can see she can store her blankets up against the wall like this if necessary. She can swing this out if she needs to get blankets off a little easier or get them on a little easier. But the cool thing I like about it is for if she's got tack trunks over here that are kind of in the way, in the way of her blankets or anything like that, she option to have this swing over and store on this wall as well. So that way she can store stuff here if she needs to, and she can swing those saddles to whichever wall those blankets are gonna or swing those blankets to whichever wall those blankets are gonna fit best for her traveling at whatever time she may be traveling at. Again, up here in the corner, it's going to give you a little better view of that gas piston that runs this saddle rack. Again, you kind of pull, and that piston's going to help push it out. Same thing, pulling it back in for you guys. So again, making stuff pretty easy. Before we jump out, she did opt to upgrade all her lights in this trailer to our OptiBright lights, which we think are you know top-notch lights. These lights are super, super cool in this trailer. They're going to put off a lot of light for you. They're also going to be a really low power draw, so you'll be able to run, you know, if you do have batteries optioned with an OptiBright light, You'll be able to run those lights off that um, you know truck battery that is powering those trailers um, for longer than you would use you know normal LEDs or your halogen bulbs. So it's really cool. As I exit, you'll notice there is a 25 gallon quarter water tank in this trailer. Again, being able to haul water for your horses, your animals, your dogs, whatever it may be, it's always hard to find water, especially in some of the winter months. A lot of fairgrounds will shut their hydrants down. Gas stations aren't so liable to let you use their water. So it's always nice to be able to have that extra water from home with you in case you are an emergency or if you got a picky horse that really only likes drinking your home water. And of course, above that water tank, it is going to be your switch for your tack room lights. 
Again, we knew this trailer was coming optioned with the water tank, so you can see they situated that switch just above that water tank. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about building the trailer. Maybe you don't want to add a water tank right away, but maybe will in the future. Make sure you note that in your build sheets just so we get that which was situated out of the way for you to put an actual water tank in that trailer. So come down the passenger side of that trailer. It's going to be pretty standard Cimarron stuff if you follow us. Um, you're going to have a 16 inch awning light up high, again giving you some light if you're tying out and saddling on this side of the trailer. Below that, you're going to have your big sliding type bus windows. Again, half of them will slide open to give you some airflow out the back side of that trailer. And then below that is going to be your two tie out rings. Typically, put as many horses as there is on trailers. So this is a two horse. You're going to have two tie rings on each side. If you go to a three, it'd be three on each side, or we can always add more if that's something you guys were interested in. This trailer is 610 wide, so you do get the running board over your uh, wheels and axles. I like it because it actually gives you the ability to jump up on that running board, check on your horses and stuff. You're not having to you know, climb, finagle around, open doors, check on your horse. You can very easily climb up there, look through your windows and make sure your horses are hauling right. Below that, we do have your aluminum wheels. This trailer is on two 3,500-pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Cool thing about these tires is they're all coming nitrogen-filled now. You can notice the green cap there. What that does is it keeps these tires from contracting and expanding um, with fluctuating temperatures. So if you have a really cold morning and a really warm night, you're not having to go out and you know put more air in your tires or let her out. It's really going to keep those tires within one or two PSI of what you always have them set out, which is really handy for this trailer. As we move around the load side, again, kind of standard Cimarron stuff, you're going to have a kick mat about four, four and a half foot up this wall around the whole inside of that trailer. Again, that's just keeping horses from kicking directly on the aluminum. Gives them a little bit of padded cushioning as well, so it keeps your horses traveling you know, safer. It also is going to make that trailer a little quieter for your horses. A lot of these trailers can get pretty loud. Cimarron really prides themselves on building a really solid unit that's not going to have a lot of moving parts. And if there are moving parts, they really try and manage how much noise those put off your horses. Talking about customer preferences a little bit, this was a custom order, something you don't usually see. Um, if, you, if you just took one of our lot uh, units, it wasn't a custom order, you would typically get this one butt strap here on the back. Again, holding your horses from leaning on that door when this folding tack room is open, you're hauling stuff like that. This customer really preferred to do two, so I'll show you here in a second. She wanted an option to where if this folding tack room was folded all the way over and she needed to travel without folding it out, she was worried that her horse would be pushing on that back door. So she went ahead and she optioned for two butt bars. So this strap is cut as well to fit this length across this trailer if she had this tack room folded over. So if she was hauling, wanted to pull this saddle post out, fold this tack room open, maybe she's hauling four wheelers or something like that. Maybe she's hauling some bigger horses, that tack room door needs to be folded over. She's not having to have those horses lean on the door. She's got a strap that was custom cut to latch all the way over here when that tack room door is folded over. So again, a couple custom options that customer opted for. Here in this folding rear tack, you can see she optioned for a saddle post with no saddles on it. She wanted the option to add those later, so if she ever needed you know, to haul six saddles instead of the, just the three up front, she could just give us a call, give Cimarron a call, and they could ship her three saddle posts that would go directly on that post, and she could adjust them however she sees fit. So she's kind of setting herself up for some expansion in the future, which I think is great to do it up front versus down the road. It can save you guys quite a bit of money to think about those future needs you may have. So we come into the trailer. Again, this is just a rubber matted trailer. She did not up for opt for the worm upgrade, but this is Cim the strongest floor on the market. This is Cimarron's floor. It's an interlocking floor. So the way it works on every center, it's going to interlock and then it'll make a nice little weld bead on the bottom of this floor for the welders. And I mean, their welds end up super clean in this trailer and you can see their clean weld along the edge here as well. Cimarron has a really great welding process. I can show you some welds as we walk around this trailer. They really do a fantastic job. To so jump up in the trailer again, you can see that kick mat about four, four and a half foot up this wall, running the whole inside of this trailer again, trying to keep that trailer quiet, nice and safe for your horses and also, you know, maintain this trailer as well. If you get a horse that paws or kicks, they're pawing at this rubber and not directly at the metal, which is going to make this trailer hold up a lot longer. Here on the hip side, those are those upgraded OptiBright lights that we showed you in the front tack as well. So again, giving you enough light that you can jump up on that running board check on your horses, make sure they're hauling okay, and again, just giving them enough light and you enough light to safely load, offload, and haul your horses effectively. You will just get your one partial divider. We can order these padded if you want. We can set this up as a full stud divider. She just wanted this partial stud, or this partial wall. She did not want the full stud divider in this front stall. 
But the thing I want to show you is Cimarron's latch system. So this is a plastic latch. We have a bunch of people always say, oh, well, plastic's going to break. Plastic's, you know, not as good as metal, but we actually think different. Um, I really like their plastic latch for two reasons. One, it's going to be quiet. I mean, it's going to make no noise while you're traveling. It's not metal rattling around. The main thing I like it is metal on metal wears a lot worse than metal on plastic will. So if this was a metal latch on your metal pin, it's going to grind and wear down over time to where eventually it's going to allow this divider to pop out. And again, it'll be super noisy as well. To where this plastic, it's not going to wear out as fast as your metal would. And it's going to be super quiet. And again, it's not going to wear down and give this divider that option to maybe pop open one day while you're traveling. So again, thinking of little things to make it more comfortable, more safe and quiet for your horses, but as well adding to the longevity of these trailers. <coughs> Each one of these stalls is going to be set up with the roof air vent. We talked a little bit about those windows on that hip side, allowing to pull that air through the back side of this trailer. But you'll also have the option to pull air in and push air out of this trailer with these roof vents. You position them one way, it'll pull air in, catch all that road air while you're traveling. You position the other way, it'll kind of get air flowing over the backs of your horses and out the other roof. So that way you're getting clean, cool air flowing over your horses, keeping them comfortable on a hot day. Again, you'll see the kick mat on the front side of this wall. Each stall will also come with three D-rings. That way if she wants to add feed bags in the future, she can just snap them right in. The D-rings are already pre-cut, pre-measured for Cimarron feed bags. So again, thinking a little bit about the future needs she may have in this trailer. Again, you'll see on this stall, again, D-rings, pre-cut, pre-measured to fit Cimarron feed bags. So if she does want to add those in the future, it's super easy to give us a call or again, give Cimarron a call and get those ordered. But each one of your stall, both your front stall and this rear stall here, you're going to have two high D-rings for tie-in horses if you do like to tie when you travel. And then again, that gives you a really good view of Cimarron's big drop-down windows with those gel bars. So your horse is going to be able to get plenty of air. They're not going to be able to stick their head out the window and you know possibly catch some road debris as you're traveling. It's going to keep them safe, it's going to keep them cool, and again, they're probably one of the biggest, nicest setup drop down windows on the market today. And finally, one of the main important things about Cimarron in this horse area, if you order a Cimarron, they're one of only two companies right now that will offer your insulated roof as a standard package. It's insulated. Run all the way through your tack room as well, so it's going to hold up aluminum sheeted roof wheel and on top of that it's going to keep your horses about 20 degrees cooler in here in the summer than a non-insulated roof so again great Cimarron offers you guys help keep your horses comfortable while they're traveling we're going to come around and take a look at the head side of this trailer again you're going to have your 235 pound uh, aluminum wheeled axles It'll give you a little better view of that running board that you're going to be able to jump up on just because that tack room on the other side takes up most of it so it doesn't give you a very good view. So there is that nice running board. It makes it super easy to climb up. Again, you're going to have your tie rings up high so you can easily tie and untie your horses from the outside, feed on them, check on them while you're traveling. Super easy. This is going to give you a super good idea of these big Cimarron drop windows. You can run them one-handed. They're heavy enough. They're going to hold themselves shut. They're not going to rattle. The cool thing I like about them is they're greasable. You're going to have a greaser on every single hinge on these windows and as well as every door latch on this trailer as well. Not a lot of trailer manufacturers do that. If you want to grease them, you're typically WD-40 them and you have to pull the whole window off, grease inside and put it back together. So by them offering you greasers on this, that's a huge selling point I think Cimarron has is they think about the little things like that that a lot of people don't. But again, super easy to use. It'll latch in place like that. You're able to travel with it down like that. So again, giving your horse max airflow. We can order you uh, gel bar covers, you know, little nets for this trailer if you're worried about maybe debris getting in through those gel bars. Cool thing I like about them, they're super easy to operate. To get those gel bars to fold down, if you did want to feed on them, check on them, tie from the outside, whatever it may be, you just move this window a little bit till it finds the trail, and then your gel bars will drop as well. And now you can see it's super easy, like I said. You can climb up here, you can see the whole inside of this trailer from this running board tie, untie horses, feed, grain, whatever you may need to do. And then again, just super easy to use and super heavy duty so you won't have to worry about those windows breaking down over time. For some reason it's cold out but you still need a little airflow. You do have the option to run your little sliding type windows inside these drops as well. So again, if you want to run them up, close, but still want a little bit of airflow for your horses, you have that option to run those sliding type windows as well.
As we move around to the front of this trailer, you can see it is diamond plated about the bottom two feet of this Vino's. Again, kind of keeping that road debris from maybe dinging up this trailer. Most of your rocks and chips and stuff like that are gonna happen right where your wheels kick those rocks up. So by diamond plating that, again, it's gonna be scratching up that diamond plate and not your polished you know, nose piece or your paint if we traveled that all the way down. <coughs> so again, helping add to the longevity and it also looks really, really clean on this trailer as well. Then of course up front to finish it off, it is just your standard two and five sixteenths ball. You will have your two safety chains. We just did a manual jack on this trailer. She didn't opt to upgrade to the electric hydraulic jack, but that is something she can do in the future if she wanted. And that's something we can also do if you have a trailer at home that you think you want one on as well. Our service shop can do a whole bunch of cool things through our shop. So keep that in mind if you guys have a trailer you maybe want some add-ons added to. And then again, right here is going to be your breakaway cable that's going to power the brakes on this trailer. So as you can see, Cimarron really sets up their trailers nice. This trailer is especially set up nice because that customer came in here for probably two or three days, sat down and went over exactly what she wanted this trailer to be. And then, you know, three, four months later, this trailer showed up. She's going to come pick it up and I think she'll be really happy with it. So again, if you're interested in this trailer, if you're thinking about building your own or possibly, you know, want to reference this trailer on a build, the stock number for this trailer is 5N220041. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull. Um, we have a few of these on order already coming. Um, we can order you guys whatever you want. If you want a gooseneck, a bumper pull, a toy hauler, we can do super custom things through Cimarron, basically whatever you guys want. Goat trailers, camel trailers, we built some sheep trailers. Whatever you guys want, Cimarron can do it and we'd be happy to help you guys with it. So if you're interested in this trailer, possibly build one like this or another custom trailer in your future, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.